this passage is about China and uh, the Chinese interference or support, uh, Chinese uh, interference, intervention in the Korean War, the war between North and South Korea. In October 1950, Chinese troops under the name of Chinese People's Volunteer Army crossed the Yalu River to assist North Korean armies and engaged in the Korean War in an offensive manner after the US troops crossed the 30th parallel. One central question, not the Korean War, it's more about US-Korea, right? Uh, the Korean War. Um, and, and one central question immediately arises with regard to the Chinese interventions. After the US troops crossed the 38th parallel, Chinese troops went and uh, assisted North Korea. One central question arises with regard to the Chinese intervention. Why did the newly established PRC decide to send its troops to engage in a war that was not even taking place in its territory? Territory is China. China's new government is there. They have sent troops to Korea. The issue is amazingly puzzling when one considers the fact that the economy of the PRC was in shatters. Chinese economy was in shatters. High inflation, extremely tight fiscal budget and the lack of material resources. The internal security and authority of the regime was under threat by various acts of sabotage undertaken by remaining KMT agents and the enemy China faced was far stronger in terms of military equipment and logistical supply. All these reasons went against Chinese intervention in the Korean War. The moment the US crossed the 38th parallel from South to North Korea, it has moved. China sent its troops. Why did it do that? Its economy was in shambles. Its intense security was not good. It faced uh, an opponent which was far mightier than it in both military equipment and logistical supply. Still, why did it send its army across? It should be noted that the Chinese Communist Party was preparing for the battles in Taiwan to unify the whole of China. All these conditions added to the puzzle. In general, the conditions were highly unfavorable for an intervention operation. Most scholars like Alan Whiting and Hao Yufan argue that the reason for the Chinese intervention was mainly the security concern of a possible U.S. invasion of Chinese territory. Now, the fact that U.S. crossed the 38th parallel to go to North Korea, China was worried, we are we the next target? That is why they probably intervened in the war. Others like uh, Sergei Goncharov and John Lewis put more emphasis on the influ influence of individual leaders like Mao Zedong. Mao was a very charismatic individual leader. Maybe their influence uh, was what caused mm, the, the, the practical part of it. They were not bothered. They just said, go. So their analysis seems spot on in highlight, in hindsight. On 25th June 1950, the North Korean army led by Kim Sekin Sung uh, launched an offensive against South Korea. Although newly emerged evidence in indicates that there was an exchange of views between Kim, Mao and Stalin on the North's plan of military invasion, several signs indicate that China was still not prepared for an invasion. One example would be that the CCCP started a large campaign of demobilization of the PLA five days before the outbreak of the conflict. So, though Mao and uh, Stalin and the uh, North Korean uh, 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 head talked about, uh, had a meeting, uh, evidence showed that China was not prepared for this invasion of that the North of North Korea against South Korea, uh, where the US helped South Korea and China helped North Korea. Now, the, the, the background, the context is being set. But China was still not prepared for the invasion. How do you know China was not prepared for this invasion? One example would be that the CCCP started a large campaign of demobilization of PLA five days before the out outbreak of a campaign. You would mobilize your troops. Why would you demobilize your troops before a conflict? That means they were not prepared for the conflict. So 1.4 million uh, of the PLA were supposed to be demobilized. As a result, the border area near the Yalu River was left with only one army unit which was stationed there for crop protect production purposes. So the, the reason they, they had one army unit there, they demobilized most of their troops. That one unit was just kept there for crop production purposes. At the same time, the domestic situation, especially the economic one, 
was not favorable for an intervention. Agricultural production fell by 40% compared to the pre-civil war years, while major industrial outputs fell by more than 50%. Moreover, military expenditure was cut together with a large campaign of demobilization mentioned above. It's mentioned that less than 10% of the budget was allocated to the militaries in the Northeast region in 1950. With other problems, so China, you see, was beset by problems. Other problems include high inflation rate, remaining anti-communist forces of local bandits which sought to establish their own authorities and KMT agents. The situation seemed highly unfavorable for armed intervention. In fact, at the initial stage, China took a passive response to the situation. In the initial stages of the conflict, China was passive in North Korea. Besides moral support for Kim, the only material support, they only give moral support. The only material support they give was provided by Beijing at the time to send approximately 14,000 Korean Chinese. Well, not Chinese natives. They sent Korean Chinese who were then serving in PLA back to Korea. This is the only material support they give. This is the passage in short. All of the following statements about the domestic situation in China around 1950 are true except. So three of the options have been given as problems China faced on the domestic front. One which has not been mentioned, we should identify that. Local brigands wanted to establish their own authority in China. Military expenditure was reduced and part of the army was de demolished. Local brigands belonging to KMT and the, you know, who wanted to, no, anti-communist forces who wanted to uh, establish their own, own authority. So one has been given. Military expenditure was reduced, has been given. Part of the army was demobilized, has been given. Agricultural production was falling by 40%. It says it fell by 40% that particular year. It didn't say every year it fell by 40%. Kept falling 40% every year. Terrible it would be. So answer is C. C has not been given. D. Chinese economy was in a bad shape. Yes, he has mentioned it. So the answer is C.